Okay, guys. Um, hope you can see me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is what I start off when I um, go run the nitro. Um, <coughs> the uh, my stuff um, is pretty much set up where you can actually go to a race and you know fast and quick. You don't need your starter box and nitro cars are twenty percent uh, oil nitro mix. Um, you gotta need your glow igniter, make sure it's fully charged. And you gotta need your well mine comes with a adapter to pull the string. So I'm gonna need that. I can use this one or this one to use it to prime, so whatever you know. Um, that's another video for me to make. Um, if you want to see me tune it and go through everything in details but I'm actually just going to show you the basics of starting it up and <clears throat> do a little small runs around you know let you kind of see how nitro is and get a feel if it's right for you you know it's not nitro is not for everybody if you're more of a guy that like to tinkle with motors you know and cars and things that moving parts you know engines you love nitro because it, it has that feeling like you're driving a real car because you know it's, it's a motor. Feeling like you're driving a real car because you know it's, it's a motor. It's not, you know, just a little electric uh, brushless motor, you know. So you have to pay attention like a motor. Make sure it's fine tuned, it's tuned to where it's running smooth for you. Throttle and idling and all that. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta need this. At least with this car you do. Some cars, it's already attached. So I like using this. I don't have to carry this around all the time. And then you, it comes with the, all this stuff comes with the kit except for this. You know, <coughs> the starter kit. And you need your flathead. The small one is good so you can do uh, high tuning, low tuning, idling, you know. Then you're gonna need your tool here in case you wanna. I lost a lot of times I lost these. Um, bolts on the tires so you want to make sure you tighten up the bolts pretty good because these go they, they want to spin out and the tire want to pop off and so then you know this adapter in case you over tighten your glow plug you don't want to over tighten it and just want to wear it snugs not too tight and not too loose so, and then you know make sure you got your mode and you know make sure you have all the batteries make sure it's your batteries are uh, new is you know it's not like almost gone you know because you don't want to run away trust me you, that's the last thing you want to see happen to your nitro when it goes out of control and you can't control it and it just runs off on you hopefully no kids around you don't hit nobody hurt anybody you know you break your nitro bar so and then you gotta need your you know temperature gauge here you know infrared temperature gauge that way you can if you're going too hot you don't want to go too hot you know you don't want to run it too cold because it won't run right. It won't run smooth like you want. You want to, like a car, you want to warm things up first before you take off. Get to that nice ride. You know. Too hot, you're running it too hot. You're taking chances. You know, it's heat. So it's going to burn something. It's going to probably tear up your motor and burn up things, you know. So it's actually running gas, so you got to treat it like a real motor, like your lawnmower, your weed cracker, your car, things like that, you know. So, Gotta pay attention with nitro. You gotta listen to sounds and details. You learn through all that playing with it enough. If it sounds right, or you know, <coughs> yeah. So make sure you have full battery in here because you don't want to run away. So let's let's see. I'll show you guys how I kind of started up. Let's see you guys. Okay. So basically, I don't want to turn on this. Double check. You know, I got all my light bulbs in there. Yeah, like I said, it has two 550 motors in there, so it's pretty, pretty strong. You don't want to buy one of these boxes just with just one motor, you know. You're going to have a hard time down the line. But this box can pretty much start any any uh, nitro. Yeah. So yeah, I got power going to that, so. Uh, let's go get this thing going. You don't want to make this video too, too long. Y'all be losing interest watching it. I know this YouTube thing, they, they hate long videos. Me, I, I actually like long videos, you know, because you can learn a lot from long videos. 
you know, short one, you're like, man, he didn't get to all the details, man. But yeah, so with these, these uh, starter box, uh, you have to adjust it, you know. If you want to see a video on how to kind of tune, adjust your starter box, I can do that too. That's, that's not hard. But yeah, these pegs, you want to line up on here. Because I already adjusted everything to make it work with this car. This buggy, I mean. So I got it lined up. So now this, this one would actually touch the flywheel. That's what turns over the motor. There's a flywheel here. <coughs> so, yeah, I might have a little hard time crank it up since the engine's cold. Usually I warm up the engine first. And I just start right away, you know. But uh, this car's been sitting for about about a month so hopefully it should crank up you know easy <laughs> hopefully but uh, we'll see uh, let's put in our nitro fuel so. yeah try, try not to get any dirt in here because you know when you take out your spark you don't want to end up falling in your engine, you know. So every time I run the car, I always clean it. I use my airbrush and just spray all the dirt and dust on all that. Same thing goes around the gas. You don't want to get dirt in here, running through a fuel, going in the engine. You're going to have problems down the line. So try not to get anything going in your engine, whether it's gas or the engine itself. So let's add this. Yeah, you don't wanna, when I run my nitro, I don't want to uh, fill on to the top. You wanna leave maybe a millimeter or, millimeter or two, you know, to get some air in there. You don't wanna overfill with your gas either, so you don't wanna gas everywhere. <laughs> so there you go. Got that in there. Well, um, <laughs> Let's prime this. Let me turn this thing off real quick. So when you're priming your uh, nitro, you don't need to put in your glow plug yet. So you don't need to uh, put in your igniter yet. So just want to go ahead and put your hands over here. Cover up your uh, your thumb. Cover up, cover up your exhaust, and just give it give it like like three, two or three pulls. I mean, if you pay attention, you'll see a uh, few running through this line going through your carburetor, so... That's the... And then after that, once you got in there, you just want to do a couple more pulls, just make sure it goes in there. I didn't pay attention if I got a few in there, but... Usually I get them in there, so... There you go, so now you want to... Put your glow plug in there. Stick it in there. Okay. Uh, the glow plug is already charged, so what's going to happen is it's going to heat up that. Uh, um, the igniter is going to heat up the glow plug. Gonna go ahead, turn this up, turn on the starter box. Just get this out of the way. I hate uh, one thing about nitro is uh, they have oil mixture, you know, so you can have get, and nitro and fumes and uh, oil spitting out. So you're gonna get oil on your exhaust, so you wanna clean that or, or your body panel. <laughs> so whatever I don't wanna get oil on, I usually move it outside. So let's, let's start your remote, make sure everything works. Power's on. You want to turn this on before you turn on your RC. Make sure your things working. Make sure your brakes are working. Yeah. Thing, thing bad about I don't like RCs. I mean, um, nitro is majority of the time they don't have reverse. The only thing you can go throttle and forward. You can't go backward. Now they have models where it's still not a lot of them out there, but that can actually go on um, uh, reverse. 
But yeah, usually when you get a nitro that goes worse, the price is kind of like mm, up there. So yeah, so I got all these. Yeah, my remote's working. Throttle's working. You know, so let's crank it up. So what I usually do, to balance it out. I hold hold the front, and then I put my thumb on this uh, starter igniter, and then I just push it out. I mean, uh, I use my nitro get even with my neighbors. Because I can pay back the bitch. So, so I didn't have a problem cranking her up, you know, even though she's been sitting about a month. I do use that after run oil on it, you know, make sure everything is lubricated. So I know she's good already. It doesn't matter how long she's been sitting there, you know, that after run oil in the carburetor and um, engine, it does help. It would be a lot easier if I heat up the engine to a certain temperature first with a heat gun or, or a hair blower. You know, it'll crank up right, right up, but since I crank up cold, uh, yeah, it took me about uh, three, four push down on the uh, star box, but it's fine right up. It's only up to the gate, so 125, yeah, it's, it's still well. 
You don't want to be over 200. <laughs> You notice the, the gas is already uh, halfway down already. You see how fast uh, the gas goes? Because I was rev revving it up a few times. So now, instead of quarter full, now it's half full already. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I mean by nitro can get expensive. You can go through gas so easy.
<laughs> so, yeah, the gas just ran out. So, yeah, see, only about 10, 15 minutes run. And I'm gonna get some more gas and let's see.